Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. How do you answer the workbook? First, watch the explanations video. Then, Answer three pages of the workbook by yourself. Finally, check the answers and see the correction. Unit 11. It's really worth seeing. Unit 11 Workbook Interchange to Fourth Edition Unit 11-16 Exercise 1 2 The play Romeo and Juliet was written by William Shakespeare in the 1590s was written 3 The microwave oven was invented by Percy Spencer in 1947 4 the picture Sunflowers was painted by Van Savant Gogh in 1888. 5. In 1960, a 1,000-year-old Viking settlement was discovered in eastern Canada by Norwegian explorer Helg Engstedt. 6. The music for the Disney movie The Lion King was composed by Sir Elton John in 1994. Exercise 1 answers. 2. Was written. 3. Was invented. 4. Was painted. 5. Was discovered. 6. Was composed. Exercise 2. 2. The award-winning film. The Heart Locker was directed by Catherine Bigelow in 2008. 3. The first satellite was launched in space by the Soviet Union in 1957. 4. The children's novel Charles Webb was written by E.B. by E.B. White. 5. The Guggenheim Museum in New York City was designed by Frank Laird Wright. Exercise 3 2. The Blue Mosque was designed by Mohammed Aga by, by Mohammed Aga in 1616. 3. Buckingham Palace was built by Duke of Peckingham in 1705. 4. Canberra, Australia, was planned by Walter Bur Burley Graffin in 1913. 5. The Vesco da Gama Bridge was designed by Armando, by Armando Rito in 1998. 6. The Burj, the the Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa was built by 12,000 workers in 2010. This is the Khalifa Tower. Exercise 4A. 
Rome, Italy, Mexico City, Mexico, Buenos Aires, Argentina, Timbuktu, Mali, Manila, the Philippines, Ottawa, Canada. Exercise 4B. 1. Fourth. Rome was named after either a person or a river, after Timbuktu was named after a person. 2. True. 3. True. 4. False. Buenos Aires was given a name about its climate, but Mexico City was given a name after an older name for the city, which means in the center of waters of the moon. In the center, in American we can say center, in the center of waters of the water of the moon. Exercise 5. Ecuador is situated on the equator. On the equator in northwest of South America, it's made up of a coastal plain in the west and a tropical rainforest in the east. These two areas are separated by the Indies Mountains in the center of the country. The economy is based on oil and agriculture products. More oil is produced in Ecuador than in any other South American country except Venezuela. Bananas coffee and coca are grown there. Many of these products are exported. Hardwood is also produced and exported. Many people are of Incan origin. Several native languages are spoken there, such as Cuyucha. Spanish is spoken too. Exercise 6. The Peso. The Peso is the currency that's used in Chile. People visit Italy every year. Tourism is a very... Exercise 6. Let's continue. Exercise 6. Number 4. A lot of meat, special beef, is supported by Argentina. Number 5. Gold mining is an important industry in South America. 6. Much of the world's wheat is grown in the Canadian prairies. In the Canadian prairies. It's used to make foods like bread and pasta. 7. A lot of computers and microchips are exported by Taiwan. In fact, the electronics industry is an important part of many East Asian economies. Many East Asian economies. Exercise number seven. Answers will vary. Possible answers. Every year, millions of tourists visit California. California is known for its beautiful scenery, warm climate, and excellent food. There are many national parks in California. They are visited. They are visited by over 30 million people every year. Many world famous museums are located there, including the Getty Center in Los Angeles and the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. The state is divided into two parts, called Northern California and Southern California. San Francisco and Yosemite National Park are located in Northern California. Are located in Northern Northern California. In Northern California, San Francisco is bordered by water on three sides, and is and is a city with a beautiful bay and several bridges. Its trees are always filled with, with tourists. On the north end of the bay is the world famous Napa Valley. South, south of San Francisco, 
There is an area that's famous for its computer industries. It's called Silicon Valley. Many computer industries are located there. Los Angeles, LA, Hollywood, and Disneyland are found in Southern California. Southern California is known for its desert areas, which are sometimes next to snow-capped mountains. Exercise number eight. The Mont Duke, the Mont Duke Tower in Barcelona was designed by Santiago Calatrava. Two. Four official languages are spoken in Switzerland. Three. In Korea, a lot of people are employed in the automobile industry. Four. Malaysia is governed by a prime minister. Exercise nine. A. One. What was invented by Alexander Graham Bell? Two. Where is, a, where is Acapulco located? Three. When was Santiago, Chile founded? Four. What's grown in Thailand? Exercise nine B. One. Do you know where the Golden Gate Bridge is located? Two. Can you tell me who Don Quixote was written by? Three. Do you know when antibiotics were first used? Antibiotics. Do you know this year the tea safdi? Do you know when antibiotics were first used? Four. Could you tell me who the tea bag was invented by? Exercise number ten. Eighteen o four. The first steam locomotive was built in Britain. Eighteen twenty nine. A speed record of 58 kilometers per hour, 36 miles per hour, was established by a train in, in Britain. 1863. The world's first underground railway was opened in London. 1964. Bullet train service was introduced in Japan. 1990. A speed of 512 kilometers per hour, 320 miles per hour, was reached by a French high-speed train. 1995. Maglevs were tested in several countries. Were tested in several countries. These trains use magnets to lift them above the ground. 2006. The Kinrali Tipped Railway was opened. It's the world's highest railway and reaches 5,072 meters. The journey time from Beijing to Shanghai was reduced from 14 hours to 5 hours by the new Maglev train. Unit 12. What happened? Exercise 1. 2. Andrew was sleeping when the fire alarm went off. 3. The Hardings were watching television when the fire alarm went off. 4. Liliana and Eduardo we're playing chess when the fire alarm went off. 5. Jenny was washing the dishes when the fire alarm went off. 6. Angela was talking on the phone when the fire alarm went off. Exercise 2. Answers will vary. Possible answers. At 11 o'clock in the morning, I was working. Around noon, I was having lunch. In the afternoon, I was taking English classes. About 10 o'clock last night, I was talking to a friend on the phone. 
At this time yesterday, I was doing my homework. Exercise 3 Carol, Anita How did you get your first job, Anita? Well, I got a summer job in a department store while I was studying at the university. No, I mean your first full-time job. But that's how I got my first full-time job. I was working during the summer when the manager offered me a job after graduation. Wow, that was lucky. Did you like the job? Well, I did it first, but then things changed. I was doing the same thing every day, and they didn't give me any new responsibilities. I was getting really bored when another company asked me to work for them. Exercise 4 2 I met a Tisafdi I met a I met a really nice guy last week while I was jogging in the park 3 My car was giving me a lot of trouble so I went to mechanic 4 Dinner arrived while I was talking on the phone Exercise 5A Richard Branson is a famous is famous as a businessman. Richard Branson is famous as a businessman. Entrepreneur, adventurer, and billionaire. He's also famous for his charismatic personality and because he's not afraid to take risks. B. Exercise 5B. 1. False. Richard Branson is a very flamboyant person. 2. True. 3. False. He started Virgin Atlantic. He started Virgin Atlantic Airways in 1984. 4. False. You can buy a ticket to travel with Virgin Galactic sometime in the future. 5. True. Exercise 6A. 2. Ruth and Peter have been going on to graduate school since August. 3. Jim has been studying Chinese for a year. 4. Maria hasn't been teaching since she had a baby. 5. Cindy hasn't been living in Los Angeles for very long. 6. Felix and Anna have been traveling in South America for 6 weeks. Exercise 6b. Answers will vary, possible answers. 2. I've been wearing this jacket since this morning. 3. I've been working here for a few weeks. 4. I've been playing chess since I was in high school. 5. I've been living in the city since 2006. 6. I've been studying ar architecture for 18 months. I've been studying architecture for 18 months. Exercise 7. Alex and Chris. This is a conversation. I've been working a lot and trying to stay in shape. Have you been jogging? No, I haven't been jogging. I've been playing tennis in the evenings with friends. Really? Have you been winning? No, I've been losing most of the games. But it's fun. How about you? Have you been getting any exercises? Have you been getting any exercise? No, I haven't been getting any exercise. I've been working long hours every day. Have you been working on weekends? Yes. I haven't been working on weekends. I've been working Saturday mornings. Well, why don't we play a game of tennis on Saturday afternoon? It's a great exercise. Exercise 8 1. When I was a kid, I lived on a farm. Really? Tell me more. 2. I haven't been ice skating for ages. Neither have I. 
Two, I haven't been ice, ice skating for ages. Neither have I. Three, I was a teenager when I got my first job. Really? That's interesting. Four, I haven't seen you for a long time. Not since we graduated. Exercise number nine. Two. Were you living in Europe before you moved here? No. I was living in South Korea. Three. How long have you been studying English? I've been studying it for about a year. Four. What were you doing before you went back to school? I was selling real estate. I was selling real estate. Five. What have you been doing since I, since I last saw you? What have you been doing since I last saw you? I've been traveling around the country. Exercise number 10. 2. Todd was a teenager when he started saving up for a world trip. 3. I've been a fan of that TV show for a long time. 4. I've had a part-time job since last year. 5. I haven't been saving enough money lately. 6. I haven't seen you for ages. I haven't seen you for ages. Unit 13. Good book. Terrible movie. Exercise 1. This adventure movie is bizarre. The first five minutes have amazing special effects, but then I was annoyed. Because the music was very loud, I couldn't hear what the actors were saying. It was really boring, just to sit there and not understand the story. The King's Speech This drama is based on a fascinating true story. King George had a problem making speeches, so he hired the speech therapist. Maybe it doesn't sound interesting, but it's a must see. The film has great acting and hilarious script, and I'm sure you'll be, ex you'll be as excited by the ending as it was. Exercise 2. 2. I really enjoyed all of the X-Men movies. In fact, I think they're terrific. 3. The special effects were great in Avatar. They can do such fantastic things with 3D technology these days. 4. Christian Bale was our standing in the Dark Knight Riders. I think he's a really great actor. Great actor. T. Safdi. Exercise 3. 2. His new movie is the dumbest movie I've, I've ever seen. I didn't like it either. 3. It's weird that they don't show more classic movies on television. I really like them. I know, it's strange. 4. A. I think Morgan Freeman is a fabulous actor. B. Yeah, he's excellent. 5. A. The movie we saw last night was ridiculous. B. Well, I thought it was pretty good. Exercise 4 answers will vary. Exercise 5. A. 1. Horror 2. Musical 4. Romance 3. Science Fiction B. 1. The African Queen 2. The Weather the Voice 3. The Phantom of the Opera 4. 2001. A Space Odyssey A Space Odyssey C. 1. 
C, 2, D, 3, A, 4, B. Exercise 6. A, 2. Walk the Line is a movie which is based on a true story about Johnny Cash. 3. Elizabeth Taylor was an actress who won two Academy Awards. 3. Akira Kurosawa was a director who was one of the most influential filmmakers in cinema. 5. The Social Network is a great movie which won a lot of awards. 6. Jennifer Lopez is an actress, dancer, and singer who is a judge on a television talent show. B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 1. Dream Girls is a musical which has some terrific songs. 2. Daniel Craig is an actor who stars in the James Bond films. Daniel Craig is an actor who stars in the James Bond films. Exercise 7. Karen Bidrew. Oh, I remember he wrote several stories that people have to read in literature classes, right? Yes, but people love reading them for pleasure too. What's his most popular book? I guess Adventures. Adventures of Huckleberry, of Huckleberry Finn, is the one that, that, is most famous. It's a work that has been very popular since it was published in the 1880s. Ah, yes, I think I've heard of it. What's it about? It's about a boy who who has lots of adventures with his friend Tom Swear. Tom Swear. It was one of the first American novels that that was written in the first person. It's Huck Finn himself who tells the story. Who tells the story? Karen? Now, that's the story that you'd like to read. That. Exercise 8. A. 2. A romance is a movie that has a love story. 3. A comedy is a movie that makes you laugh. 4. An action film is a movie that has lots of excitement. 5. A horror movie is a movie that's scary. 6. A musical is a movie that has singing and dancing. 7. A documentary is a movie that shows real events. B. Answers will vary. 1. I saw the special effects in Iron Man were cool. It's incredible what they can do with computers. 2. Have you ever seen the 1965 film Dr. Zivego? The cinematography is beautiful, especially the lightning. Especially the lighting. 3. Herman Granger is my favorite character in the Harry Potter box. 4. I've forgotten the name of the composer who wrote Rasputin. Who wrote Raps today in blue. Was it George Gershwin? Was it George Ger Gershwin? Exercise ten. The Hunger Games is a science is a science fiction movie. The Hunger Games is a science fiction movie that or which was released in 2012. It was directed by Gary Rose, who also wrote the screenplay. It has some famous actors who, or that, include Jennifer Lawrence, include Jennifer Lawrence and Woody Harrelson. 
The story is about a young girl who, or that, is called Katniss. She joins a countess to save her community in the near future, which is very dark and dangerous. Will she save her community? Community. British American community. T of D. Unit 14. So, that's what it means. Exercise 1. A. 2. D. 3. A. 4. C. 5. B. B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. It could mean they need help. 3. It might mean he wants you to stop. 4. It probably means they need a taxi. 5. Maybe it means she wants she wants to run. She wants to turn. She wants to turn. She wants a turn. Want to wanna. She wants to turn. Exercise 2. 2. That sign is really confusing. What does it mean? It's not clear at all. 3. The food in that restaurant on the highway is disgusting. I'll never eat there again. 4. I drove for 8 hours on a straight flat road where the scenery never changed. I've never been so bored. 5. I couldn't get into the parking space and everyone was looking at me. It was pretty embarrassing. 6. I went bicycling all day. Now, I'm so exhausted that I am going to sleep for 12 hours. 7. I asked the taxi driver to turn off his radio because the loud music was very annoying. So exercise two answers, two, confusing, three, disgusting, four, bored, five, embarrassing, six, exhausted, seven, annoying. Exercise three, one, this sounds crazy, two, shh, be quiet, three, Come here. 4. Where is, where is the restroom? Where is the restroom? Exercise 4. A. 3, 1, 4, 6, 5, 2. Exercise 4. B. 1. A. Oh, yuck. Those fried brains look disgusting. B. Try them. They're delicious. A. Really? Oh, they're good. I'm surprised. B. C. The proof of the body is in the eating. 2. A. Hey, what happened? You look so sad. You know that guy I was dating? Well, he said he didn't want to see me anymore. Don't worry, you'll find someone else. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Thanks a lot. That really helps. Three A. You know the person who sits next to me in class gave me these flowers for my birthday. It was nice of him. But they're awkward to carry around. Why didn't he give them to me at the end of the day instead? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Just say thank you and don't complain. 4. You know what? I just failed my driving test. I don't think I'll bother to take it again. B. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. You may pass it next time. 
Exercise number five. A. Answers will vary. Possible answers. One. It could mean you shouldn't worry. Shouldn't worry about a past about past problems. One. It could mean you shouldn't worry about past problems. Two. Maybe it means you should check something carefully before you decide if it's good or bad. Three, it might mean you will pay for everything you do in some way. Four, it probably means that people spread bad news more quickly than good news. Exercise six, student and teacher. Student one, but how can they stop me? I'll use my cell phone, not a camera. Teacher, you have to check all your things with security. Student two, can I take my jacket into the museum? I'm not sure. It might be best to leave it on the bus. But what about my wallet? It might not be safe on the bus. Oh, it's definitely a good idea to keep your money with you. Keep it in your pocket. And what about touching things in the museum? There are. Don't touch. Don't touch. Signs next to some of the things, but you can touch things if there is no sign. Exercise number seven. Number two, ah, what does this sign mean? It means you can't turn left. You can't. You cannot. You can't turn left. Three, you look confused. What? What does this sign mean? You can, or are allowed to turn left, or you're allowed to, or can go straight. Four. Why are you stopping? The sign says to stop. Actually, you don't have to stop. Just be prepared to, if necessary. Five. Hey, hey, stop! Didn't you see the sign? It means you have to come to a complete stop. You have to. Student. What sign? I didn't see any sign. Exercise number eight, two. You you aren't allowed to light a fire here. You're not allowed to light a fire here. This sign might mean you're not allowed to swim here. Four. The sign probably means you can get food here. Five. You have got to be quiet after ten p.m. Exercise number ten, one. I fell asleep during class this afternoon. The teacher had to wake me up. Oh, that's embarrassing. Two. I went to the movies last night. The couple who sat behind me talked during the entire movie. During the entire movie. That's irritating. Three. I drove all night to get there on time. Oh, that's exhausting. How can you keep your eyes open? How can you keep your eyes open? Four. Did Anna give your directions to the party? She did, but they're really confusing. Hey, can I get a ride with you? Five. This movie is taking forever to download. Why does it have to take so long? You're so impatient. There, look. It's done. Unit fifteen. What would you do? Exercise one. A. 
Answers will vary. B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. If someone climbs through my neighbor's window, I'd call the police. 3. If my boss made things difficult for me at work, I guess I'd look for another job. 4. If a friend sounded unhappy on the phone, I'd probably invite him or her over. I'd probably invite him or her over. Unit 15, exercise 2. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 1. Exercise 2, answers will vary. Possible answers. 1. If a relative asked to borrow some money, I'd probably say no. 2. If I had three wishes, I wouldn't tell anyone about them. 3. If I could have any job I wanted, I'd be a movie star. 4. If I, have, if I had a year of vacation time. 4. If I had a year of vacation time, I'd travel around the world. I'd travel around the world. 5. If I could change one thing about myself, I'd be more patient. Exercise 3, 2. My friend confessed to cheating. My friend confessed to cheating on the, bio in, on the biology exam, but his teacher still failed him. 2. Confessed. 3. I'm in a difficult predicament at work. I don't know whether to talk to my boss about it or just quit. 3. Predicament. 4. If I saw someone shoplifting in a store, I tell the store manager immediately. 4. Shoplifting. 5. My uncle died and left me $20,000. I'm gonna invest most of it. Invest. 6. I'd go straight to the police if I saw someone breaking into a house. Straight. 7. There is so much great music to download from the internet. I didn't know what to choose. Internet, internet. 8. My aunt won't. My aunt won't let me use her car because she thinks I'm a terrible driver. She had a point. I had two accidents last year. Two accidents. What sound? Two accidents. Unit 15, exercise 4. A. 6. 3. 5. 4. 2. 1. B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 1. I'd make a wet pen I I'd make a wet pen sign and put it on the beach. 2. I'd call the bank immediately and tell someone about the error. 3. I'd probably ask to speak to the store manager. 4. I guess I guess it just accept it. I guess it just accept it and study harder on the next exam. 5. I wouldn't say anything about it, but I wouldn't lend them anything else. 6. Maybe I'd smile and tell my friend how much he loved it. Exercise 5. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. I wouldn't have asked her to speak more quietly. I would have moved to a different seat. 3. I wouldn't have told them to come back the next day. I would have suggested going to a restaurant. Going to a restaurant. I would have 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 suggested going to a restaurant. 4. I wouldn't have called the police. I would have, I would have, I would have asked them to turn their TV down. 5. I wouldn't have, 
I would have given her a bell for her room and board. I would, I would have asked her to leave. Six. I wouldn't have decided not to say anything about it. I would have offered to buy a new glass. Exercise six. Answer the will vary. Possible answers. One. Last week, I should have saved my money. I shouldn't have spent so much money on coffee. I shouldn't have spent so much money on coffee. Two. Last month, I should have studied harder. I shouldn't have been so lazy. Three. Last year. I should have bought a computer. I should have bought a computer. American bought. British bought. T a soft D between U and A. Last year, I should have bought a computer. I should have bought a new car. Exercise seven. A. Dear Harry. I have never written to an advice columnist before, but I, but I have a big problem. I'm going out with this really nice guy. He's very sweet to me, and I really want to marry him. Want to wanna? In fact, we plan to have our wedding next month, next summer. We plan to have our wedding next summer, but he has a problem with money. He spends money like crazy. Sometimes he borrows money from me, but he never pays it back. I want to save money because I want us to buy an apartment when we get married. However, if I tell him the pro, if I tell him he has a problem with money, he denies it. He says, "I disagree with you. You worry too much." You know, you never want to go out and enjoy yourself. What can I do? J M Seattle. So A answers: marry, spends, borrows, save, nice, disagree, worry, enjoy. Dear J M. You and your boyfriend must agree on how you spend your money before you get married. If you both admit that there's a problem, you could probably find an answer. He should accept your idea of saving some money, and you shouldn't always refuse to go out and have fun. Don't forget that talking can really help. Good luck. The answers: agree, admit. Find, accept, refuse, forget. B answers will vary. Exercise number eight. A Tina and Les and Lacy. Well, I would try to convince him that's a good that's a good opportunity for me. I've tried that. He says I could study the same thing here. If I were you. I would talk to him again. You know, I once missed a big opportunity. Oh, what happened? I was offered a job in L.A., L.A., Los Angeles. But my husband disliked the idea. My husband disliked the idea of moving, so we didn't go. I shouldn't have taken the job. I have always regretted my decision. In my this in my situation. What would you have done? What would you have done? Oh, I would have accepted the offer. Well, there is the answer to your predicament. Accept the scholarship. B answers will vary. Unit fifteen, exercise nine. Answers will vary. Possible answers. Two. I wouldn't leave it. Where someone could see it, I wouldn't leave it where someone could see it. Three, I could never just leave it there. Three, I could never just leave it there. 
I could never just leave it there. For, I might try to sell it. I might try to sell it. Five, I might not tell anyone of my friends about it. I might not tell anyone of my friends about it. Unit sixteen. What's your excuse? Exercise one. Answers will vary. Possible answers. Two. Jenny asked James to do an internet search for her. Three. They asked James to check a flash drive for viruses. Four. Anita told James to put some information on a spreadsheet. On a spreadsheet. Anita told James to put some information on a spreadsheet. Five. Linda said not to forget to add paper to the copier. Six. Ricky told James to reformat a text file as a PDF file. Seven. Chuck told James to get him some money, to get him some coffee, to get him some coffee. Chuck told James to get him some coffee. Eight. Kelly said to make five copies of the agenda before the meeting. Nine. Pete asked James to give him a ride home. Ten. Olive said not to be late to work again. Exercise number two. Noun verb. Acceptance accept. Apology apologize. Complaint complain. Compliment a compliment. Compliment. Noun, compliment. Verb, to compliment. Criticism, criticize. An excuse, noun. Verb, to excuse. Invitation, invite. Sympathy, sympathize. Exercise to be. Two. I accepted an invitation to Terry and Anna's house for dinner. Three. I didn't want to go to Sandy's party, so I made up an excuse. Four. I was rude to my teacher. I must apologize to him. Five. My English teacher said my essay was excellent. It felt really nice to get a compliment from from a teacher. Six. My parents criticize everything I do. I wish they weren't so negative. Seven. I am sorry you have the flu. I had it last week, so I can sympathize with you. Eight. I received an invitation to Janice's party. I can't wait to go. Exercise number three. Larry. Exercise three number two. Larry gave an excuse for being late for work. He said there had been a traffic a traffic jam on the highway. There had been a traffic jam on the highway. Three, I couldn't go to the meeting, so I expressed my concerns in an email. Four, Wendy told me she was graduating from college, so I offered her my congr my congratulations. So I offered her my congratulations. Five. Jill was very funny at the class party. As usual, she told lots of jokes. Exercise four. A. One. C. Two. A. Three. B. Exercise four. B. Answers. B. Be outdoors on weekend. C. Go out on the weekend. A. Work on the weekend. Exercise five. A. 2. Maria said her sister was having a baby shower. 3. James said he might have some house guests on Saturday. 4. Kiko and Ray said they were going camping this weekend. 5. Carlos said he was sorry, but he'd be busy on Saturday afternoon. Exercise 5B. 2.
Tom and Kyle told her they'd be moving to their new apartment that day. 3. Franco told her he watches the football game on television every Saturday. 4. Julie told her she'd already made plans to do something else. C. Answers will vary. Exercise 6. A. 2. B. 3. D. 4. E. 5. A. Exercise 6. B. 2. William, I am sorry to hear about your sick grandmother. I'm sorry to hear about your sick grandmother. 3. Ruth, I'll be studying on Saturday night. 4. Robert, I can't come for dinner on Friday. I have to work late. 5. Ben, your new blouse is very pretty. Pretty. T of D. Exercise 7. 1. A. We're gonna go horseback riding. Do you wanna join us? Do you wanna join us? B. Sorry, I won't be able to. 2. A. I'm really sorry. We'll be out of town this weekend. B. No problem. American, not problem. O as I sound, problem. 3. A. Meet us at 7, okay? Meet us at 7, okay? Sounds like fun. 4. A. I am sorry I won't be able to make it. B. Well, never mind. Exercise 8. A. Accept, refuse. 2. Great. Accept. 3. Sounds like fun. Accept. 4. I've made other plans. Refuse. 5. I won't be able to make it. Refuse. I am busy. Refuse. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Accept. I'd love to. Accept. I'd love to. I won't. B. Answers will vary. That's the end of unit number 16 and that's the end of entry change to workbook answers. Wish you all good luck. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.